Hey everyone, thank you for watching today's video. I'm so excited to do. It is going to be my Will I Buy It for the week. This is where I talk about all of the new makeup releases and I let you know what I'm interested in picking up or what I'm gonna pass over. I'll link my playlist down below. I do also always link the community playlist so you can see what any creator is thinking about all of these new releases. But we have a lot to chat about this week, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over so I can add in some photos. Obviously, first I do wanna say I have a different background going on. This is not as much as I would like this to be <laughs> my everyday background. This is not going. This is not going to be it. This is a one-time special occasion here, and I also wanted to start off the video just by saying thank you to everyone who supported my collaboration with Over Cosmetics that came out this Monday. Um, it was, it was a day. It was a day. It was a very surreal experience and I'm just I, I'm really I'm really so grateful for it so I talked about in last week's will I buy it video that I had a new collaboration coming out with Oprah I do have a full video on my channel also dedicated to the collection and it was released on Monday the 29th uh, it's also available at Ulta Beauty right now and it is coming to some international retailers like Beauty Bay uh, and some other ones also and it just it feels so awesome to have the collection out there so thank you to everyone who supported it and I, I just I really do appreciate it so yes yeah, so that's a little bit of what this background is about because I was able to uh, come down to over cosmetics and um, you know just just me of course and not like the party that we had planned last year for the launch but I at least got to come down and be able to experience um, what a launch day looks like. So I have a beautiful background that says Ofra by Samantha March and some hearts here. And yeah, that's where I'm filming this week's Will I Buy It video. And over the next month, April is gonna be a very interesting month for me and a very challenging month for me. I'm really not sure if I'm gonna be able to consistently put up Will I Buy It's on a Wednesday. My schedule might get a little inconsistent you might be seeing some different backgrounds throughout this month um so any support is is very appreciated because this month is going to look a little bit odd for me and for my content but um but that's okay and i just appreciate your support on everything on everything so yeah i just wanted to say that i also got my makeup done today by uh, Beauty by Shaq and I just absolutely love it and I got my hair done. It just was such a Such an amazing day. So Let's jump into the new releases though because I feel like we actually have a lot to talk about I'm filming on a camera that I'm not used to and so all of the things so I don't, we'll see how this video turns out But it's probably just gonna look a little bit different from my usual ones But again, this month is gonna be looking a little bit odd for me um, Anyways to jump into it. Let's see Okay, this came out just a few hours after I filmed the last week's Will I Buy It video and I was already getting so many tags and I was like, man, I wish I could have talked about that. So we're actually gonna start off talking about a hair product, which I think is a little bit weird, but so many of you know that I love the Olaplex line. So I got so many tags on this one. So let's just kick it off there. So we have their new product, the number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask by Olaplex, one of my favorite hair care companies. So this is a reparative mask to add shine, smoothness, and body. It's supposed to give moisture to, to treat damaged hair. It's gonna be $28 and available April 6th on the website. Honestly, I mean, I feel like I'll probably buy this just because I, I literally buy every single one of the Olaplex products. I just repurchased their number seven bonding oil. I did just get extensions. I have the NBR extensions, the Natural Beauty Row extensions in. So my hair products do look a little bit different right now, but honestly, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably just end up buying it at some point because I do really use a lot of the Olaplex products. So I'm excited for that. Uh, this week has also been so crazy. I really haven't been in tune with a lot of the other new makeup releases. So a lot of these are going to be like my off the cuff reaction to them, which sometimes that's fun. Sometimes that's a good time. But I definitely got a lot of tags on the new palettes coming out from Huda Beauty. So these are the new Obsessions palettes, the Tortoise collection. Okay, so we have uh, the Obsession eyeshadow palettes are 29. There's liquid matte minis for 33 or the Obsessions kit for 45. Looks like there's a pouch. All going to be available March 30th on the website. These look fun. I'm probably... I... Yeah, 
I could see myself buying one of these. I do like the Obsessions eyeshadow palettes. I most recently bought the Gold Obsessions from Cult Beauty, and I really liked that. I really do like the mini liquid lips also. I could see myself probably grabbing a palette, though. And the... Uh, the Sephora sale is coming up. I do have a video up on my channel already on the wish list, my wish list for the sale, and I'll still be doing my recommendations for it also. I just think the packaging is really well done. Yeah, I think the packaging is really well done. But I would I would I would maybe throw one of these in my cart also. Uh let's see. I also I got quite a few tags that Good Molecules is coming into Alta Beauty. I really do enjoy Good Molecules, a favorite skincare brand of mine. So I think it's very exciting that they're coming to Alta. Uh I have a lot of products that I enjoy so much from them. Their discoloration serum, I think, is fantastic. I actually just used that up. I think that's a really good one, so I'm excited to see them coming to Alta Beauty, so good news there. Uh, let's see. I'm like, I feel like I'm going to try to get through this one, like, really quickly. Just, like, feel, like, just being in such a different setting and the different camera, and I'm like, I'm already panicking about editing this video. I'm like, can I get it? Because I'm filming this on Tuesday at 4.18 in the p.m., and I'm like, can I get this done? Um, but I've never missed a will I buy it, so... There might be some like live chats from me this month as there might be some live chats from me this month so stay tuned it's gonna be an interesting next few weeks here uh let's see i got quite a few tags though on this patrick ta release we have patrick ta and patrick star to talk about this week so from patrick ta the major sculpt collection includes the major sculpt creme contour and powder bronzer duo and these are $38 and there's also a brush. Will be available April 2nd. Um, I'm definitely really interested in these. So they kind of remind me a little bit of the blush duos already. Um, where you have the cream and the powder. But I really, I do like it. So I do, I do a series on my channel called March Madness where you can vote on different products. And for the blush category, Patrick Ta like ran away with it in the first round of votes. I won't give away any spoilers, but my March Madness video has already been filmed. That's going to go up on Friday, I believe is that video. And if you want to see a hot mess of a video, that would be the one for you to watch because it was like everything that went wrong technical wise went wrong in that video at this moment at this moment i don't have an external hard drive i don't have wi-fi on my computer i don't have i don't have a lot going on for me technologically wise at this moment and everything like crashed and burned while filming that video so it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun one but i know a lot of you really like these patrick todd duos and I love contour, I love bronzing. Yeah, that one also, that looks nice. That one does also look nice, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and then from Patrick Star, we have a new complexion product, the Turn Up Base Versatile Powder Foundation by One Size is the name of Patrick Star's brand. So by One Size, a buttery smooth, buildable, medium to full coverage powder foundation with a multi-use formula, soft matte finish, and up to 12 hours of wear. So this is $33 and 32 shades will be available April 9th on the website. Okay. Um, so I just recently purchased the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. So my first thought is like, do I absolutely need this? I'm kind of interested in how it says like a multi-use powder. Because I'm just wondering like, what are all of the different uses, I guess? Um... But I mean, the before and after photos, like some of these, I'm like, really? I mean, it just, like it looks really nice in these before and afters. So I don't feel like it's one of those that I absolutely have to have right now. But if I saw a lot of good reviews, I might grab it. I don't, it's like, it's like one of those. I don't need it, but sometimes you just, sometimes you just want it. Sometimes you just want it. Uh, also got quite a few tags on this new collection from Milani, the new Gone Glamping Collection. Okay. Inspired by the most exquisite glamping destinations with rock earthy neutrals and sunset shades. So we have the eyeshadow palette for $19.99 and also the gilded shadow sticks for $6.99. All right. This is actually pretty cute. Like, I, I like the shades inside. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of like the actual like camper RV situation going on, but
but then I don't know if it was in like a regular palette would I think it was as cute I don't know I, I don't know the shadow sticks looks like they would complement the the palette well the prices are good I think it's I think it's very well done do I absolutely have to have it I mean do I absolutely have to have any more makeup no but that's cute that's a cute one uh, let's see also got quite a few tags on this new eyeshadow palette which looks perfect first perfect for spring we have the so the so mermazing palette I think is how you say it I was gonna say so mesmerizing was my first thought but I think it's mermazing palette by clarity cosmetics so this will ship May 14th, so it sounds like you can probably pre-order on the website. A palette with 10 shades, 5 duochromes, and 5 mattes for $48. I do really like the looks of this one. I like all of those greens in there. I I just had this moment where I thought I'd been looking. So my regular camera flips up. Actually, both of my regular cameras, the flip screen flips up, and this camera that I'm filming on flips to the side. And I like looked to the side and then I thought I'd been looking to the side and in the viewfinder this whole video and I was like, we're gonna have to scratch that whole video. But I think we're good, I've been, cause I can see the hearts reflection. Okay. Clearly I don't do well outside of my, my comfort zone, let me tell you. But the So Mermazing palette. Those greens look nice. Those pinks look nice. I feel like this might be one for me. Mm. I feel like this might be one for me. What do you think on this one? I'm thinking a yes. The complexion product that I see, this is the new Skin Hero Bare Skin Perfector by Herborian. So it's supposed to enhance your bare skin upon application and visibly improve the quality and texture of your skin day after day. So clearly it has skincare benefits to it also. Combines the power of Korean white ginseng with retexturizing enzymes to smooth skin's texture, blur perfections, and enhance skin's luminosity. So it's non-tinted. You can use daily as your morning routine, applying immediately after moisturizer. So I guess I'm not really actually now sure what this is. I thought it was like maybe like a tinted moisturizer when I first saw it, but then it says it's not tinted. A bare skin perfecter. So I feel like it's more skincare. It's more skincare than anything. So it's $39 or you can get a smaller size for 20. Okay, it's available at Ulta. I don't know if I absolutely have to have it at this moment in time, but I feel like I was more interested for some reason when I was thinking maybe it was a tinted moisturizer because I want to say I've tried one of those from Herborian and it was nice. That was a few years ago, but I can probably pass on that. Uh, and then this one. This one is from NYX. And it's a collaboration with Tetris. It's So we have the Tetris Jumbo Shadow Palette, which is $45. And it has 80 shades. I just don't know what I would do with something like this. Like, what do you do with 80 shades? I just don't even know. I don't even know. There's also lip kits for $8 or the Epic Liner Kit for $30. And it's are available now. I love that the first comment that I can see, like, there's only one comment. It says, view all 611 comments. And the one comment that's showing for me, someone tagged my friend Angelica, and it just says, LOL. <laughs> like, so let me say, in honor of Angelica, who asked for this, did somebody need this? I'm just not understanding. It's going to be a no for me. I mean, $45 for 80 shots, but it's like, how it's the... It's gonna be a no for me. The next Trend Mood box, I think already came out, because I'm pretty sure I saw an email come through about this, but you have to let me know if you ended up grabbing anything. So Trend Mood, who I often read off of uh, her posts, I do link any of the Instagram accounts that I'm reading from in my description box, but for Trend Mood, she also has the Trend Mood box, and so this was a takeover with First Aid Beauty. 
Uh, so this was gonna be $39. You got the new Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. Really enjoyed that product. I do already have my Makeup Monthly for the month of March filmed and you're gonna hear me talk about that collagen cream. That is a really good product. Really good product. Also the Bump Eraser Body Scrub, the Pure Skin Face Cleanser, the Facial Radiance Pads, and the Ultra Repair Cream. I think that is a fantastic box especially for the $39. I do have quite a bit of these products, so I wouldn't have needed it for myself, but that's a, like, let me know in the comments if you guys got this box, because I thought that was pretty cool. I really do like First Aid Beauty. You know, definitely a favorite skincare brand of mine, and I think that box was really well put together. I see a new product from, I'm trying to think of how you pronounce, Naturum, 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 I can't think how you pronounce this brand now, but it's another skincare brand. They're coming out with the Azalic Acid Emulsion 10%. So this is supposed to be give you brightening complex, bio-retinol, and niacinamide to help calm visible redness while minimizing the look of uneven tone and texture. Uh, perfect for those with sensitive, problematic skin, which would be me, and this is $22. I've had quite a few people recommend Azalic Acid to me for, um, like, hyperpigmentation and, like, the redness and the acne scars that I have from hormonal acne. So this, what did I say the price was? $20, $22. I think this brand is also sold at Target. I'm pretty sure I've seen them there. I feel like I would be interested in that because I don't, I, or if you guys have tried azelaic acid in another product, let me know. I feel like one of the only ones I've seen, I think is by The Ordinary and I've had a lot of reactions to their skincare. So it just makes me nervous to try new things, but I would be curious about that one. Uh, some more skincare we have from Glam Glow. This is the Bright Mud Dual Exfoliation Treatment. Uh, this is going to be $60, so it has AHA and BHA, niacinamide, and vitamin C. I don't really love Glam Glow. I tried them quite a bit years ago, and we just I just never really got on with their products, and I found them to be pretty expensive, so I think that one's going to be a pretty easy pass for me. Uh, let's see. We have from Beauty Bakery. They're also coming out with a skincare line. I'm not really shocked to see so much skincare coming out and skincare lines coming out just after the year that we've had. But Beauty Bakery Skin is going to be launching, I see, an exfoliating sponges, okay, a cleansing face wash, exfoliating facial, an essence, and a facial moisturizer. So this is going to be coming January of 2022, so we still have some time. We still have quite a bit of time on this. Okay, I just got really confused. I was like, wait, what year are we in? So we have a while until this one's going to be out. I'm almost kind of surprised that we're seeing a sneak peek of it now. Um, the packaging all looks really great on it, but like, where are we going to be in a year from now? I, I don't know. That, that's kind of interesting that they announced it so, so quickly like that. Uh, from House of Siage, I'm like trying, okay, let me look. We're at 20 minutes. House of Siage, they're doing a collaboration with Disney and coming out with their first makeup collection that's not just lipstick. So House of Siage is kind of known for their like bow lipsticks, like the really heavy heavy duty lipsticks. So this is a collab with Disney, the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So you get an eyeshadow quint for $68, a complexion duo for $58, lip luminizer and powder lipsticks, or the collector set is $240. So House of Siage is also known for being pretty pricey. Um, the Disney part of the collab doesn't really call to me. I know so many people love Disney and love Mickey and Minnie Mouse. It's just not really like my type of thing. The complexion duo, looks cute but there's only one of those and they I think there's only one of those and they do those shades look be pretty light like I don't even know if I could if I could wear them for me um it's cute but I don't think it's a collection that I absolutely need to be running to grab myself and then I see a new brush from it cosmetics this is their new flawless a flower powder brush oh it's to celebrate the upcoming mother's day how sweet Featuring a flower-shaped brush head for loose and pressed powders, $35. It looks fun, but not something that I feel like I have to go run and grab, but that's cute. I like the concept, the Mother's Day. It's also really fun to look through the Trend Mood page and see my own collaboration photos. So that's, that's always something too. That's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty cool. Thank you so much to everyone who shared, to everyone who shared and just 
supported it. It was, yeah, such an exciting day, such an exciting moment. Thank you. Uh, I see a new collection though with Hip Dot and Hello Kitty. So Hip Dot just did the Peeps collection, so now we already have Hello Kitty. So we have the lip gloss duo, uh, there's an eyeliner and mascara duo, a selfie palette for 24, a sponge, and the full collection with bag is 74. This should be available now, so I'll have all of the links down below. Uh, so I did get the Peeps collection sent to me, which was really exciting, and I tried out some of the sponges and I really did like those. This eyeshadow palette I don't feel like calls to me as much, just the color scheme, it's not like, not quite me. I'm also not really a Hello Kitty fan either, so the collaboration part doesn't really give me a pull, uh, but you'll have to let us know if you're going to grab that one. I see that these were just posted, so Wishful is coming out with a new skincare product. This is the Yo Detox, purifying, detoxing, and intense version of the Yo Glow. Okay. And it's supposed to be able to be used on face and body and will be available April 5th. So I actually really do like the Wishful Yo Glow. Uh, I feel like it got a lot of... I feel like it got a lot of mixed reviews and bad reviews before the product was even launched, which was very interesting to see. But I really like the product. I use it weekly in my skincare routine and I enjoy it. This one also sounds kind of interesting because it has charcoal, AHAs, BHAs supposed to unclog pores, fight dullness, and get a deep skin detox, and as someone with more oily, acne-prone skin, like, I bet, I don't know. I feel like I would probably like this one. I might try that one out. I might try that one out. And then also just posted, I see Morphe brushes and Lisa Frank is doing a round two. So we have new lip crayon trios, a painted neutral trio, and I just see coming soon to the website. Um... These just don't look like products. These were just posted, so I haven't even seen these photos yet. These don't look like something that I need. These are like the, the crayon, the lip crayons. I just, I don't really wear products like that all that often, so I'm gonna pass on those. All right, after that, I think that is it. Let me just double check that nothing new just got posted. Okay, I think that's everything for this week's Will I Buy It video. I tried to get through this one so quickly. Now I'm like, can I move back to the center? This is fine, This this is how will end it and uh, again just thank you to everyone for making this week so incredible and for your support it really does mean so much um you know i'm filming this on tuesday and i was just doing a live chat for the ofra instagram and we got told in the middle of the live that we were able to stock some more pr boxes not the full amount that we want to get restocked but there's more that are available now so those are restocked now on the Ofra Cosmetics website. You can use that code Samantha for 20% off or the palette and the lip gloss trio is still available on Ulta Beauty. But I was really excited for the PR boxes to restock. Like I was truly in the factory watching everything being made and everybody working on them. And it just was, it was really awesome to be able to see that and to say thank you to everyone who was, who was working on the collection. So those are back they're on Ulta. they'll be coming to the international retailers and again thank you so much and um just another like word of warning i might not be the most consistent this month with uploads you might see some live chats in lieu of you know fully edited videos um and you might be seeing different backgrounds and all kinds of stuff throughout the way but um truly appreciate your support uh because you really don't know what it means to me especially during this time so just thank you to to everyone and i appreciate you watching this i hope that you will leave me some comments down below let me know what you are most interested in also other than that if you enjoyed this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video bye